Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to Mermaid Swamp. Also, I believe this is going up on Leif Erikson Day, so yippee. Uh, last time we got the lighter, so... Could I melt the stuff in the keyhole with the lighter? I probably could. zip a da Oh, of course, he's got a zippo because he's a smoker. Ah, uh, gotta give him the lantern. Why? <laughs> Can they say that? Zippo? I guess it's like a brand, right? Oh, crap. Is he joking? It? <laughs> Is he joking it in there? Blech. I'm going to be sick. And Yuka, too. Did he fall for her? Not to mention you do this now. I'm not brave enough to bust in there. I'll leave the lantern and light it here. He'll get it. And I need to wash my brain. I should rest. I'm tired of all this walking around. You know, he's probably inflating like Yuka. Got a lantern, so I'll look for a map. Can't be sleeping at a time like this. I haven't even looked at the old mansion yet. Ah, we got the spooky lighting. Don't want to see him sleeping all sprawled out. I'm not going in. What's up, bitch? Are you good? Glub, glub, she whispers. Hey, Satoro, I'm lonely, so let's sleep together. Beat it, I'm sleepy. If you got energy to play around, go sleep. You're boring. Do they have a thing going on or nah? Like, I would assume that this is two binary pairings. You know? Romantic pair bondings. Zippo. All right. Little, little bed. Or a little table and a couch, actually. What a noise I just heard. A letter on the dresser. Dear Yukio Tsuchida, how are you these days? My lord, lord <laughs> sister, I demand compensation for emotional support. But now I'm able to support myself, so I'll only be taking enough to raise my children. Counseling seems to have helped. The children are their own preppy selves. As for your offer, give me time to think. Like the children, my wounds have yet to heal. Chio lost the storehouse key while playing in the piano room. You'll have to find it for yourself. Take care of yourself. Psycho Kawamoto. So he had a divorce with his wife. She took the fucking kids. Key in the piano. Let's remember that. And then he mummified some girls. See, that's the thing, right? Normally you would like start with your own family if you're going to be a serial killer. Like, and the most fucked up serial killers don't start with their own family. Like that guy in that episode of Hannibal. Not to spoil Hannibal for anyone who hasn't seen a decade year old show now oh man he got the boat a motorboat on a cart shit's locked locked with a passcode um Wait, it would be like, oh, was it eight or oh, two? Oh, I did it. I did it. Yeah, I was probably supposed to read <laughs> the, the note. But yeah, I figured it out that it was. Where's the passcode? Yeah, he locked it with... The day of the article was August 72. So 1972, 08 for August. Okay, cool. 
Because I was just brute forcing it because I forgot the, uh, <laughs> I forgot the day, but like, eh, it was pretty close. Can I just like throw this in here? I guess I need it, huh? Okay. Um, I want to go scrape around the piano room some more because I know that there's a thing in there. Which kid forgot it? Because this one's Chie. She likes the fish. And that one's Chio, and she doesn't like the fish. Chio. So the one who doesn't like the fish. And I mentioned earlier, there's two children's drawings. And this one is drawn by somebody who likes mermaids, whereas this one is drawn by someone who doesn't. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Something between the frame and the picture. Gee. <laughs> That's a good scare. I like that. That's a pretty good scare. Something just passed by. So what was still locked? That's the bedroom. This we just opened. Uh, oh, there was a downstairs room that was locked still, I think. Um, here, I think, right? The storage room. It's a storage room. Stack of firewood. All right, I could warm up Yuka's room. You know, if this game has multiple endings, and I don't know that it does yet, um, this would probably be a big flashing arrow of how you pick your ending, you know? Like, do you like the thing? Do you not? And the walkthrough that I'm using very gracefully highlights these things. So you can click on them and like see see it, I guess. Um, so you can have the walkthrough open and not have all the spoilers. Got firewood. Um, just in case. You know, actually... I don't know. Hmm. Cause they get, cause like it's not a, a very obvious open and shut thing of like, we better get that fire lit. Cause everyone involved is like, man, I don't know if we should light this fire or not. You know, every single character has been like that so far. So maybe we shouldn't light it. Check my goals. Hmm. I'm not going to light it. Okay. Well, let's head on back to the uh, old house then. This way. Old house. In the middle of Old Street. Wow. Yeah, this is a very 1970s Japanese house, I guess. Based on the fucking candelabras. Okay, stairs right in the middle. You'll hear that, right? That got knocked over. Some goop. Good sign. Good sign. <laughs> Batten down those fucking hatches, huh? And more goop. Okay. Uh, let's start with these two doors. The bathroom. Still filled with murky water. Uh... 
other bathroom. Something in the water? It's super dark and too spooky. I'll take a look tomorrow. Old two-tank washing machine. I don't even know what that means. Uh-huh. <laughs> Old fireplace with a fucking axe. The floor in the fireplace is creaky. Can it move? A hidden room? There's a ladder, but it doesn't go all the way down. I'd rather not go unless I know how deep it is. If I hung a rope, but I don't have a stake or a hammer, so what can I do? Can I have the axe, please? Oh, last time that happened. Mm-hmm. So last time that happened when she did her little, you know, when she wiggled, I guess it was something behind her that she heard. Because I assumed that it was something that she stepped on. Oh, cutscene. Yeah, of course there's nothing there. It's dark. I must have missed seen something. What are you doing here? Yuda, don't friggin' do that. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him the accent. I asked what you're doing. There wasn't any map, so I searched the other mansion. And you, why are you outside? Took a little rest and went back to looking. I was gonna go to the old mansion myself. Alright, I'll go with you then. Two heads are better for the... You shouldn't come. Go back to your room. Shouldn't what? Like hell I'm not going. I want to get Yuka to a hospital. What the fuck? I told you to go to your room. Are you refusing me? All right already. I'll be calling it a day then. Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes, thank you. I'll search the old mansion high and low. If I don't find it, you can help tomorrow. Oh, good night. Like, the noise is just his shoes scraping across the, uh... Deal with that jerk off. Stare at pains all day and act all haughty when he couldn't find Hay in a Haystack. Better be serious about finding that map. I'll go to my room and rest. Okay. Now I really don't like that he's in the old mansion where the axe lives. And I don't have the axe. Maybe I could pull out this firewood and throw it in front of him as he's going to chop me. You know, wood substitution jutsu. Yeah, the firewood. Hmm. Slide it and... Should get it warm soon. That should be good now. Wait for us. We'll get you to hospital. I like that the fire does not emit any light. I imagine that the programmers just didn't know how to do that. Legs are killing me. I gotta get some rest. Are they swelling with water? I lit the fireplace there because it seemed like that was the way forward. Chio, why are you crying? Feel bad for the fishy fish, all locked up and sad. I'll tell on you to father. Hey, let's go to Grandma. To Grandma? Let's ask her about the fishy fish. Weird. You know, I'll be honest, there is actually no logical explanation for weird prophetic dreams like this. It could be that there's a recorder playing these things in her bedroom. But that's not very logical. So what I guess means is that there is no logical explanation and there is no easy explanation that is not supernatural in nature. Grandma, is the fishy fish mad? Mad indeed. Perhaps hateful enough to kill. I guess she's an old person voice. Are we going to be killed, Grandma? No, not you, because the mermaid fears us. Fears the people of this house. But outsiders know. Outsiders will suffer her curse. See, I mentioned, like, that's why no outsiders may come to this house. 
Happened again. Dream of the water, mansion was filled with water. It's Brats and her grandma. And what mermaid? Like the one of the legend? Ridiculous. Couldn't be. I'm tired to have weird dreams. Hungry. I'll go check on Yuka and ask Satoru about what to do for food. Out like a log. I don't think that's the phrase, dog. Mm hmm. Why'd he come out of Yuka's room? He's put the fire out. Looking less pale, thank goodness. She is. Something's weird with him, especially that stuff yesterday, but I'll leave it for now. Hmm. Check the old mansion, but food comes first. Gotta get that energy. Hey, <laughs> wakey wakey, early to bald. Make me breakfast, for I am hungry. Morning, Ren. Gosh, morning already. So much for a nap, I totally crashed. I'll get breakfast, too. Uh, I'll get breakfast ready. You help, too, Yama Monkey. Do you think the fridge is already empty? Well, I'll just survive on snacks, I guess. Yeah. You sound gloomy. Are you tired? Well, gee, maybe it's because my friend's got some crazy disease. Add in yesterday, you better believe I'm tired. Having bad dreams, too. I know how you feel, but that's not getting us anywhere. We gotta find a map and then get Yuki to a hospital, so perk up. Hey, ain't Yuka gonna, Yuta gonna eat? Oh, yeah, he said he wasn't hungry. He doesn't look too hot early, either. Huh. I'll start the search after we eat. I'll check here so you handle the old mansion. If I get to the old mansion and the fucking axe is not there, I'm going... I might reload my save. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, look. She actually does take her shoes off. Interesting. She only has them on that side. Bathroom... Hmm. Still there, my old axie friend. Okay, weird kitchen. A spring clock. Oh, um, maybe that's the clock that the note meant. I have dirty sink, and it's filthy. This is also filthy. A door that won't open. And a trash can. So this is the one boarded shut. I wonder why. And a bedroom. Old poster on the wall. Wisdom of the servant. Remain devoted to your master. Do not speak too much. Do not walk around carelessly. And do not enter the boiler room. End of small shelves. Trash can. A bureau. Won't open. It's caught on something that won't open. The screen is slightly ajar. How's it caught on? Might be able to open it with a stick. Guess we'll look for a stick. All right, left side. Another one. I wonder where you pulled all those from. Probably just like a Wikipedia like collection of all of them. I say he, but I actually don't know the sex of the uh, author of this game. Presumably it had only one. Um, a lot of RPG Maker games are like that. Another fishbowl. Murky goldfish bowl. Child's diary. Father showed me something great today. It was colorful and beautiful. He said he'd give it to me someday. I can't wait. He told me that no one in him could possess the key to the room. He said a duplicate was inside his pillow, but I would be... I would soon be found out if I took it, and I must do as he commands. I found something of a pretty red color. I do not know what it is. I decorated a fish tank with it. The fish seemed to have enjoyed it as well. Was it a piece of human meat? Also, old guy. Boo. And also, this time he was painted blue. Feels like somebody's watching. <laughs> New world ardor. I'm slipping. Making it sludgy. Swamp water? I can't climb that. 
Be not, hmm. Anything good for cleaning around? I actually didn't look too deeply into that one room um, back at the first house, the storage room. I thought that this was a stick, but I think it's just another crack. And shit is locked. I don't have a key, do I? Lantern and a Zippo. Should I get more wood? Cleaning implements. A mop. <laughs> Mop.png. Old books and magazines. Well, perfect. I got exactly what I came for. In and out. A fallen vase. That should do it. We want beat. Another two set of beds. Some harden the pillow. What is it? Too bad I can't even tear open a pillow. If I had something to cut it with. I'll break my nails. God, I was talking with Kate about um, painting your nails and then when it starts to chip. And like, she thinks that when it starts to chip, it looks more punk. And like... I know where she's coming from. I don't personally think she's right. Um, but like when your nails chip, it is such a pain in the ass. Cause like, what do you do? Do you try to paint exactly in the broken places? Because the stuff behind the new polish will still be brittle. Do you try to paint over the whole thing? Because then you're going to get a weird bump in the middle of your nail. I need to get more top coat. Cause like every time I get top coat, I'm like, ah, yes, a normal amount of nail polish. And then, like, I use, you use top coat every time. So, like, you paint your nails six different times and you use a different color every time. But if you put top coat on, then you use the top coat six times. So it runs out way faster than any other nail polish. So I never have any. Sorry, I'm bitching. Don't mind me. Books are stacked on the table. The top one is a flower encyclopedia. Got a couple tags in it. The plum. Roskier. Prunus. Blooms in February to April or spring. Yeah. It's pink, white, and red. Came to China, came from China to Japan via the Korean Peninsula. The anthology Menyoshu mentions it in over a hundred poems, so it was being grown as early as the Nara period. Cultivated beautifully for different reasons. Flowering plums are regarded for their beautiful flowers, and fruit plums bear medicinally useful and edible fruit. Mayu, plum rain, a rainy season lasting from May to September. And Umegasane. A light rain, like over a, a light red, like overlapping crimson plum blossoms. Spiderwort. Oh, my wife has one of these. Uh Comlinase. Comlinaxia. Trade Scantia. Blooms in June to September. Season is summer, and it's blue. Tsuyugasa, or dewgrass, is supposedly named for how those bloom in the morning wilt by noon. There are 100 types, 180 types worldwide, five native to Japan. Blue flowers are used for food. Comelina communis var, hortensis, is grown for paints, and dried Comelina communis l is anti-diarrhea and has anti-fever properties. Also called Tsukigasa, Kiryugusa, Tsukigusa, Kiryugusa, Hotarugusa, uh, Bushibana, or Aohana in Japan. Spiderwort colored. Uh... Bright pale blue color associated with the flowers. Pomegranate. Uh, symbolizes reproduction harvest due to Greek myth. Well known and famous in Turkey and the Middle East. Gardenia. Oh boy. Wisteria. Often grown in parks. Fireplace. Mm. 
Hmm. Are these zodiac signs? Or it's Dragon Monkey Boar, right? Why'd someone write that? You got me, dude. Japanese style bureau. Hmm? What? Hmm. My cat's over there. He's doing it, everyone. He's doing his little fat boy best. What a sad state of affairs, mopping up goop in a ruined house. Oh, hello. Big hole in front of the door. Oh, I thought that was like a Grim Reaper. The hell was that? I knew it. Really feels like I'm being watched. Yeah, like, look at this thing. Doesn't it look like this is like a Grim Reaper? Like a hooded figure standing there? Bunch of human-sized fish tanks. Murky water embedded in the wall. Mm-hmm. I'll come back to that later. Thank you very much. Shit's locked. Oh, boy. Here we go. Do all of them give it the chance? Nothing inside. Oh, yippee. We Silent Hill 2 now, boys. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hand got grabbed. <laughs> Look at her face. I got something. What's this? Oh, it's the red thing. Is that my cats being crackheads in the background or am I being haunted? Go in there. Um, let's take a look through my items here. Old paper. Hmm, okay. Still need a stick to open it. And I don't have my mop anymore, huh? No. Spooky. A key. Perfect. One of these rooms is locked, so it's probably goes to here. A pile of books. Books, books, lots of old books, additional old books, and ring-a-ding-ding, -ding. something shining on the bookcase, you can't reach it, old fucking books. Okay. Somewhat at a loss of what to do with this. Secret side room. 
Mhm. Oh. Something's written in here. I was deceived. I've never married him if I'd known about this place. Those cunning men tricked me, but I'll never be able to leave. I know it's secret, so I'll be cursed. It's utterly repulsive. I can't possibly understand it. I need to get away from this place. Die, you aberrations. I can't stand them even laying their hands on me. What's this about? Writing in that hidden location? It's pretty scary, NGL. I'll be honest. I want some sushi. I, uh, I made some soy eggs earlier. You do so by hard boiling a bunch of eggs and then marinating them in soy sauce. I suspect I've over marinated them because they are very, very soy and not very egg. Where was that diary? Okay. Oh, here we go. Something beautiful. Keys hidden in the pillow. Pretty red color. I decorated a fish tank with it. Okay. The fish seem to enjoy it. I wonder if I take the, this back to the fish. I have not had to use the walkthrough for an episode or so. Oh my god, it's 30 minutes again. Time has flown. Um... Uh, wow, so that's another episode of Mermaid Swamp Town, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Uh, happy Halloween. I've been Alfred. Uh, and have a good day. Uh, the plot's thickening, and this game is getting very good. So yeah, uh, see y'all next time. Bye.